Uh, here we have a uh, ball and plate experiment. Uh, we're running, uh, currently running MATLAB and Simulink together. This is the uh, Simulink model controller. It is a real-time controller and we are using it to drive a um, prototype XY controller for a uh, touch plate with a ball. And we've also got two motors in there controlling the uh, X and the Y position and they are uh, gear motors and we have a potentiometer here to determine the position of the plate in one dimension and back here we have a secondary potentiometer built into the frame to detect the uh, position of the plate in the Y direction and if I disturb the ball should come back to center and we are see some of the motors moving down there we're not regressively controlling the position of the ball obviously I pushed it too hard and the uh, controller is fairly slow. We're not uh, aggressively controlling the position of the ball. In the center, we could more actively go after that, but at this point this is not the desired um, controller we're looking for. We're simply going to start getting a better understanding of working with this uh, five wire touch panel. And Currently we're driving the touch panel through an Arduino. Uh, it's controlling both the uh, X and Y ground and plus 5 volts to the uh, touch plate. We need to um, have the X dimensions powered and take a reading and then switch it to the Y dimension uh, resistive network in the uh, touch plate and take a reading. Then we transmit that through the key, through the uh, wires here to the Arduino analog input board which is back underneath there. You can kind of see it. Uh, we currently have a one computer running the uh, Quark software from Kwanzer and it's driving two motor control power plants. These are uh, amplifier, power amplifier circuits and they give us the uh, necessary voltage to drive the uh, two motors underneath. So we're starting to work with this. Uh, this project's been in the works for a little while. We're trying to get a... Eventually what we'd like to do is have it so that a person could spell their name, just come up here and you know, maybe in cursive draw their name out, and then have the ball follow it. But for now, this is the uh, current setup. Uh, we've built our own apparatus here. But uh, So far we're doing pretty well and we'll try to add some more to it as time goes by.